Today, I wanted to take a look at the new Rococo headcam, which allows you to capture facial animations extremely well with minimal effort. Also, this thing is extremely lightweight. I know this isn't exactly the usual content, but when I found this new Rococo gadget on my doorstep, I had to take it for a spin. And yes, this review copy is provided by Rococo. This is one of their newer products, and they are the maker of Rococo motion capture suits. In addition to Smart Suit Pro 2, Smart Gloves for capturing individual finger motion, and this Coil Pro, which is the ultimate motion capture tool for eliminating drift. The HeadCam is a newer sibling of the previous head rig, which was aimed at iOS devices. The HeadCam, on the other hand, is specifically for Android devices and can also be used directly with your PC. There is a USB-C cable that is supported to be hooked to your Android phone, but you can also use it directly with your PC. The HeadCam comes in this cool looking box with Rococo branding all over it, with the product name HeadCam on the side. Inside, you can find first the headcam unit itself, in addition to a guidebook, the adjustable back mount that attaches to the rig, and a box of cushion pads, in addition to velcro straps that can be used with the suit. As you can see, the headcam offers a minimalist setup with a small built-in high-definition front camera that can deliver 60 frames per second with a built-in mic and a dimmable LED light that has multiple brightness levels which you can adjust by tapping on the back. It also has an easily adjustable velcro head strap at the top for different head sizes and a knob at the back to adjust the grip. Probably the biggest selling point for the hat cam is that it is lightweight. This thing weighs only 240 grams, which is a little bit over half a pound. You can wear it for hours without feeling sore, which is great. And this is a great thing because the head rig is kind of heavy by comparison if you used it before with a counterweight at the back to balance the iPhone. From the software side of things, the headcam itself is system agnostic, meaning it can integrate into any workflow that uses a single camera input for facial mocap. So software like Facewear or Accurig work seamlessly with the headcam, as well as VTube programs like VZ Face, XR Animator, and so on. But Rococo has also their own solver in the Face Capture app on Android through Rococo Studio. Now, go ahead and install the Rococo Face Capture app from the Google Play Store and launch it. And make sure the phone is connected to the same network as the PC. This is important so that Rococo Studio is able to connect to the phone. Now, it is as easy as selecting the available device and connecting it. If you did everything right, you should see the face capture model in the middle of your scene. However, I have a small disclaimer. For some reason, the face capture app, or more accurately, the face overlay in the app freezes from time to time, which was less than ideal. I tried this with multiple phones, but this feels like it can be easily addressed in the future. I mean in the future updates. And Rococo has assured me that they are fixing this. The headcam, similar to all Rococo products, can work seamlessly together so if you have the smart gloves and the suit, you can easily get going very quickly with Rococo Studio. And the headcam will plug in within your workflow with no issues. Another tip to avoid hitches and glitching when face capturing is that to keep the face capture app open and put the phone in your pocket. The great thing about using Rococo Studio is that you can adjust the expressions on the fly. So if you want to increase the eyes or the eyebrow movement, the jaw or the mouth, and even the blinking range, you can do that through the settings panel. And as Sam mentioned, most people think motion capture is just plug and record. But in reality, there is a healthy amount of back and forth to get exactly the result that you're looking for. While the headcam is designed to be plugged into your Android phone and work with Rococo Studio integration primarily, it can also be used as a webcam in AccuFace or any vision-based software. However, to do that, you will need to hook the phone directly to your PC. The headcam comes with 1 meter or 3 feet cable, so if you are planning on using this setup, you might want to invest in a Type-C extension. The camera itself, even with this small form factor, is very decent. Considering again, it's just 240 grams, which is extremely light. You can see the quality directly from the camera feed. And of course, it goes without saying that the result will vary depending on the lighting setup. 
so make sure there is enough light hitting the camera sensor. Also, a very important point is that the hat cam isn't as much of an alternative to the head rig as it is an alternative for Android users. The head rig for iOS users, of course, the Apple Arcade. And this hat cam isn't a replacement for that, but you can think of it as a light version that can deliver very convincing results. Now, for the price, at the time of writing this video, the hat cam will set you back $695. But if you grab it with the Rococo Studio Pro Yearly License Bundle, you can save $400 by getting both. Of course, with a 30-day trial money-back guarantee. Now, I will let you draw your own conclusion about the price and whether or not it is worth it in your workflow. But Rococo isn't just the hat cam. It is a full system with many parts like an ecosystem. So if you are already a Rococo gadget fan, this is a no-brainer. Rococo are also offering Indie Creator Bundle, which is a great deal for creators to get full performance capture, meaning the suit, gloves, and facial capture, and you can save 40%. Not only that, Rococo even hooked us with an extra 5% off if you use the code RKK underscore inspiration cuts at checkout. Or you can click their first link down in the description. Finally, if you want me to do more stuff with the hat cam and try it in the future, leave a comment down below. We're planning to make some animations in the future, which could be a great addition to this project. And there you have it guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to this channel to receive more videos like this. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.